Fear not the man that practiced 100 million punches one time, but the man that practiced one punch 100 million times. I know that's not the exact quote, but like my man, Rick, that's what he was doing. In a hyperbolic time chamber, gaslit by Mr. Ogre, saying that you're so weak, you need to grind. And he grinded, all right. Now he's at a level where he can just like defeat strong OP magicians by not having mana, but he can like manipulate magic and combine that with like physical stuff. And you saw the different chart. Like it's like a, a, a diagram of like a different quadrants are good for magic control, physical and stuff like that. Rick is busted in the top half. Now, we corrected the older brother. The whole noble family has been corrected. And the sister, low-key, I think, like, she wants us, man. I think that she low-key respects us. And we even made a declaration. No, not to become a pirate king, but he said he's going to take down that legendary monster that the previous hero wasn't able to do. Let's begin today's reaction. Right, what is the chance that we failed? Right? Because, like, if we pass, like, now, already Helcom Falk Fist is here. All our plans are out. Like, he's not even self-doubting himself anymore. So that existing running gag can't work. But, like, they've been really stalling with the numbers. He's, like, 4242, right? Hmm? Akashic Records mentioned again. だが私にはあの魔物を倒すこと子供たちの中から、いつかその宝を手に入れ、願いを叶えるものが現れる。冒険者？え、ヤマトみたいに僕もなるんだ。Dad and mom. L L parents. L parents, you should just fucking settle down for a stable white collar job. Work as a fucking administrative assistant, waste your fucking life, then realize at the age of 30 that you wasted your life and now you need to do something else. I understand that the parents are looking out and they don't want their kids to die, so he wants like a safe route, but you know, you know what's even more risky than becoming an adventurer? You know what's more risky? What's risky is taking the safe way and then thinking that you are comfortable and then realizing later on when it's a little bit too late and all your good years has passed, that maybe you should have tried something. That is risky. Inborn skill? What? Rick is actually secretly OP? They're... They're real an inborn skill like Yamato, some kind of passive, some kind of unique skill. Uh I don't know if Rick was built like that, but okay, I'm not sure if they're just like teasing us. Cause that was never mentioned in the earlier episodes, and now this is a revelation. <laughs> At the age of 30, yes. The Osan becomes an adventurer. Rick flashback episode, huh? Inborn skill, what is it? So like, the doctors can tell if you have an inborn skill, but they need to bloom. So it's like dormant skill right now. Okay. It's never coming. It's never coming. Potentially, does that mean like Rick's inborn skill still hasn't blossomed yet at the age of 32? Like, could you imagine? Now he gets the fucking inborn skill, like in the present timeline. Skill人士があっても能力が発現しないでもあるらしいな。とりあえず冒険者になればいいんじゃないの？スキル持ってない冒険者だって多いんだろ？俺にとっては冒険者ってそういうんじゃないんだよ。就職先が決まったの？ <laughs> Congratulations, son, for getting a respectable, stable office job. Like, I get it, I get it. But, like, I don't know. I've already gone down that path of taking the safe route. And trust me, it is a privileged position to be in. Hey, stop fucking being horny about mom. I'm trying to give you a fucking life lesson about taking the safe route of choosing a fucking safe job and then having your fucking precious time go away, okay? It's important. 
I know that the parents care, but like it's more important that you follow your ambitions. The mom is great. The mom is great though. And then this is just basically him working until 30, I think. <laughs> Flexing is the adventure thing. <laughs> and we're still trying to get the inborn skill, but it's not out. No. Oh, there she is. The child, not the child. <laughs> Bro, now that's a unique camera angle. Where like, you know it's fucking huge. Jesus. Damn, mom. Your mom and mom and dad are aging like fine wine. Oh. What's that guy again? <laughs> He's flexing again. It's like the equivalent of like, I, I quit my day job. I can do my side hustle full time now and sustain myself. And Rick's like, fuck you piece of shit. You still fucking flexing on me. I'm stuck here. Poor Rick. Oh, I know he's saying congratulations in a good way and he shouldn't be jealous, but like, of course you're gonna be jealous to see like everyone around you like succeed in the thing that you want to do the most and like, and then you're getting left behind. It just feels so bad. He's drunk, drunk. <laughs> Damn. Bro started working at 16? For 14 years of this job? I'd f oh, I go insane. I couldn't stay at my fucking first office job for like more than two years. It's not too late! Not too late! Goblins? Mm. Titans! <laughs> Elf! <gasps> That's her! That's her dark elf! That's her! <gasps> like, she's probably like S rank right now, right? With Orihalcum Fist. And then there's nobody just steps in front to like protect the one of the legendary adventurers. Like, that's probably why she likes him a lot. Like, the fact that he was willing to do this even though he was weak. Arena. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Trying to save me. <laughs> and then does she ask, How do I become as strong as you? Please take me as your apprentice. And then that's our in to Oriakum Fist? Mm -hmm. I like this Rena hairstyle. Interesting that they decided to use the three other members of Oriakum Fist for the second intermission slide, but the first one is the sister, the middle child, you know, of the noble. Like, they must be setting something up with the sister. She must become like an important character later on that like respects Rick and does something else. <laughs> ランクは<笑> In the nine years that have passed since I was eight, so math adds up to 17 right now. And then plus two in the future, she 19 timeline. Okay, 19 and 32. That's a crazy, that's a crazy age cap. <laughs> but she's a dark elf though. She's a dark elf though. I doubt that she's actually seven, like, she should be way much older. She should be a child at like, like I don't even know how this shit works. Anyway, she's never laughed, by the way. Never laughed. Oh, 
あそのことはともかくもし30歳やっていけるかな Do it What do you got to lose? Nothing 先ほどの件勇気があると思いましたならですがギルドで受けご存知ですよね Yeah It's like you gotta develop that shit before you turn like 20 I forget the exact threshold but the younger you are The easier it is to get the mana pool, the mana reserve, so you're kind of fucked there. But like, we don't need that! We got physical! Impossible. Damn. That's Cav! You know he did it! I wonder why she's saying this so absolute, like, to make sure. Maybe this is a test. To see if you would give up, regardless of whether or not she said this. <laughs> For some reason, the butterflies, these insects being drawn to the lamp pole reminds me of Nokotan. Where there was so many butterflies on Nokotan last episode. I don't know why the fuck that was happening. <laughs> ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、
either that dude with the cape, maybe he's Hiro Yamato. That doesn't make sense that Hiro Yamato would do this. Maybe it's something completely different. Maybe it's Kaiser. Something is wrong there, but the monsters are imbued with that magic that's, you know, reminiscent to the past. But Zaid got us back. <laughs> She's like Aru from Seventh Prince. <laughs> Maybe I was disrespecting Zayid a bit, man. He was just flexing a B-Rank a little bit too much. I got a little bit annoying, but like, okay, I see you, dude. I see you. <laughs> Yeah, they are pretty cool, huh? <laughs> no, we got Zaid here. He's B rank. Nah, 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 nah. We're fucked. If if Rena, I don't. I thought this is like trauma PTSD, and it is. But like something related to Kaiser maybe showing up. Dragon. Dragon. Just a dragon's magic? Only Interesting. There it is. Yo, what's up with dragons fucking up dark elves? Well, elves too. In gate, it was both elves. But again, there's another example where an elf is traumatized by a dragon burning down their village. That shit happens so often. Still no CGI. The cat the barrier? Yo! That's actually fucking terrifying. That's actually so scary for dragon cats and barrier. You're not getting out of here. Man, look how cool it is when it's a fucking 2D dragon rather than a CGI. I can actually take it seriously. So might as well try. Wonder if the inborn skill activates now. <gasps> Valhalla awaits him. <laughs> but what about the regrets you might have? <laughs> yes! Who would win? A 30 year old receptionist or a fucking dragon bro threw a fucking rock at it? <laughs> it's like, are you serious, bro? Really? Really? You just did that? <laughs> That did better than expected. I can't believe his iron body skill actually fended the breath attack. Now it looks bad. They're on the ground, but they're not dead. Like that actually did something. That's impressive. <laughs> Rick, in more skill. He looking like a main character right now. <laughs> If I haven't seen the other episodes, I just assume he's dead. Bro couldn't even fucking finish his monologue. He was like, I, as the main character, will make my dream. Uh-oh. Yo, Rick dead. But we know he's not dead. Inborn! One hand! Holding up one hand! Holding up one hand, near life death scenario, inborn skill activated. Finally, finally it kicks in. Why is he unironically cooler right now than the other episodes where he actually has all the power? What the fuck? He has like a Super Saiyan Kaioken? What is this? No. 
The whole thing about him was like he doesn't have magic reserves because he started too late. But this inborn skill is creating such a great magic overflow that like what Renette just said, right? There's so much magic overflowing from him that it's actually visible. So like it doesn't even matter that we had no magic reserves because his inborn skill pretty much just fucking compensates for that. Brute Valor Awaken. That's his inborn skill? I don't know. New form? Zenkai boost? <laughs> Dragon head cut off with a single fucking punch, which might as well have been a fucking Kamehameha. Brute Valor. Inborn skill. So, uh... What about that date, Renet? What'd you think? You like that shit? <laughs> Not bad, that was amazing. And now what? <laughs> I was gonna say it was all a dream, but like he has these injuries, right? He has the band-aids to prove the fucking battle against the dragon, so no, it's not a dream. <laughs> okay. And Rina's here. Magic circuit destroyed? Hmm. So his like brute valor must be like a last mi like a like, uh, last stand. Like you should only use it when it's like you're really gonna die because if you use it, you're gonna be done. Your magic circuit's being burnt out, you're out for a week. That's why he can't just spam brute valor awaken. That's why he did all the training to be super OP without brute valor. But like if we wanted to, if we wanted to rely on that, we still got that. Ooh, scouted. And you know what? This makes a lot more sense because I was like, why would they, why would Oriakun Fist even like recruit Rick? Because like without this episode, I'm like under the assumption he was just like a normal dude that did nothing until 30 and then he just gotten in with like an S rank party. That made no sense. But it's like, oh, I see. From the beginning, he had that potential and now you're like, yeah, let's scout him. Let's bring him in. And the goal, kill Kaiser, right? Kaiser the One Piece exists! This is all my shit. You too can make minimum wage. Oh! That one fucking manga panel of Deku and all my. That's a fucking me, dude. Dramatic wind! You can do it, bro. This is a great scene. Wow. Actually impactful. Okay. Almost. One more and it's 4242. What if he fails though? For whatever reason, what if he fucking fails? Like, because he destroyed his fucking examine tester or some shit. I don't know. Like, maybe we broke a rule for being too smart. Like, it's too strong. Like, I'm worried, man. That means we're in? We're in, right? That's 4242. <sighs> Exam passed. Now, what is the theme of the story? That even if you start too late, it's not too late. At the ripe age of 30, you too can become an adventurer, right? But like, he had the inborn skill. Which probably is the same shit as like what Yamato was using, you know? Like, it's not like he was a random dude. Motherfucker's a chosen one. And it finally activated at 30 after he took a fucking chance against the dragon. So I was like, what? What's the fucking moral of the story? Just be a fucking chosen one and then you can fuck around till 30? Then you can follow your dreams and no one else? Nah. <laughs> it's not that. It's just, you know, 
<laughs> this gives him more of like a chosen one kind of feel because of the inborn skill, but it's still a great theme. The oh, okay, so and another thing is the inborn skill never actually, you know, blossomed, right? Until 30, right? But I'm just saying, like, without it, you think Oriel Confist was taking him? Well, even without it, he did become that strong through the brute force training. He's not, he's never once relied on, you know, the uh, brute valor in the past episodes. And you already seen he's so strong because of all the training. Just when I thought that we're gonna have like a slow episode because of all the hype shit that was happening, we get hit with the flashback and it's a goddamn good flashback. You know who the VIP, the MVP of today's flashback episode is? It's not Renet. It's not, you know, that girl with the big ass titties. It's definitely not mom and dad. It's fucking Zaid, man. I thought Zaid was just here to flex and make, you know, Rick feel bad. B rank, B rank. Dude held up against the fucking breath attack protected his team. That was insane. Zaid B rank, low key. He's insane. I hope we get to see him in the current timeline. The most important thing though, was the revelation that Rick has an inborn skill. Some kind of passive seed that blossomed into a skill and maybe hiro yamato had a similar skill but for whatever reason rick's skill never developed but as he confronted the dragon in a near life or death situation it finally activated so he said that he heard a voice it was a weird thing the whole animation before you know that thing activated like it almost looked like we were in some kind of library, right? Some kind of gears, library, there was a voice, we see the universe, and it says you've acquired a skill. It's like the system, the AI that rules over this, I don't know, this game, this world. But hey, he gets it activated, it's called Brute Valor. And I think it's just as simple as everything is just so enhanced. He's got magic overflowing from his body, meaning he did not even need the magic reserves. So in his base state, without it, yes, we know how he can fight from the previous episode. But now with Brute Valor... We know that he has the magic reserves. It's not really as authentic, but it is still exuding from within him. So we can use that to be even more OP, but it's like a last stand move. We can never rely on it too much. We'll probably see it in the future during like a really, really important situation. But I doubt we're ever going to see Rick just spam that shit. It's got to be a special thing. And that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time... Take care.